Hey everyone, Dale here with your uh, DIY homemade um, oil burner, waste oil burner. This is what I've come up with. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, just took some old piping. This is half inch. And half inch went up, put a T on it, and my oil line will be coming in here. This will get mixed with the air and shoot out the end here. So the oil will be coming out the copper pipe, air will be coming out the galvanized, and uh, this little air dealie here I got off of Facebook Marketplace for like 20 bucks. Didn't work. Had to take it apart, oil the motor, and finally it started working. And so it has, I'm able to uh, very low uh, air to max air which is really ideal for this so it had a like two and a half inch well no it had two inch outlet so i had put a two inch uh, reducer down to one and a half and then i got a pvc reducer down to what's a three quarter inch this would be a little higher than three quarter down to three quarter then down to half inch so the air will be blowing in through there, up through here, and it can't go out this way because I got a compression fitting here. This is a half inch um, to three eighths, and then copper line compression fitting. Put in a valve, three eighths compression to barb, three eighths, I believe that's three eighths hose, clear hose, and that goes up to a little needle valve and then I've just got it up to a funnel and that for now until I figure out if this is going to work or not. This is more or less a safety so I can shut it off quickly and that I can adjust. So if something goes wrong I can just shut it off quickly let the air blow it out and it'll be done. So obviously on the end of here that'll be blowing oil out mixed with the air then I'm going to have a, a tube here blowing it into it because it needs something to keep it hot while it ignites it'll just probably go out if it's just ignited here so I'll have a big tube and we'll see if we can keep it going and then if this theory works which I think it will don't mind all my other stuff here mess um, then I can put this into my little stove going into the side there's these little flanges that screw on that go into the side of the stove and then on the other side of the stove you have another flange and then this pipe will come inside the stove into a, a bowl spin around and then the exhaust will go up through the uh, stove pipe so I am going to take this all apart this just slides into here goes right into here I'm going to take it all apart um, snug it all up and then I'm and this as well and then try to fire it up and see what it does. So stay tuned guys. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Okay ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home. I am what you call a professional idiot. You heard that right. Um, I'm not going to get it really hot. I'm just going to try it and see how it works here on the bench. Because I don't feel like hauling everything outside right now. Maybe tomorrow in the next video I'll crank it right up outside but I just want to see if the theory works here first. So I got the blower going. That's going to bring that air through. Uh, stop by this, and it's going to be coming out here. So I can feel it here, and I can feel it at the other end here. So I can also adjust this. Down. That's the lowest setting. That's the highest setting. This is a fan from a... Uh, it actually says in the in Canada. Um, it's a fan from a gas fireplace, apparently, to get the heat out. So, anyway, I got my valve on here. I got my other needle valve there. And I'm just going to use some motor oil, fresh motor oil for now. Um, just because my bigger jugs of waste oil, it's going to be hard to mess around with that, so I just want to give a little test shot. 
So, shut that off. Put a little oil in here. Again, guys, please subscribe. Share this with your uh, Uncle Lenny or whoever. Whoa. That should be enough to get it going. She's gurgling. So that way you can tell how much oil's in your line too. So you could hook this up to a bucket once we get once I get it tested out, but for now that needle's stopping it. I didn't put a clamp on here because it's really tight and I want to take everything apart anyway. But I did put one down here. So this one is off. Let's just get this needle valve going here just a little bit. There's the oil. Slowly coming down. So it should be interesting. I just threw this together. So and I got some heavy steel here. Obviously I'm gonna have to get this hot before this will ignite, but we'll see how it goes. I'll heat it up first. That oil looks like it's going to take a while to get all the way to the other end, so I will pause the video and come back. Okay, I'm still waiting for the oil to heat uh, to get down the line, but I'm just going to heat it up in here first just to get it nice and warm. This thing is laying out in the cold. Again, guys, don't try this at home. Um, you know, I got a fire extinguisher right by, so uh, I don't. I'm not really worried about it. I can shut the oil off, turn the fan on, and I got the door open over on the other ends. But I wouldn't recommend it. Do this outside, or if not even do it at all. But I'm just going to give it a touch around here and see what it does. Guess I should have warmed my oil up a little bit. She's taking a while to get there. Anyway, I'll come back in a minute. Okay guys, I got some good oil coming here now. I noticed once I turned this on, it obviously went quicker. So I'm just going to use this as the needle valve for now. And it, I'll probably have to end up switching that around, putting a safety up there and the needle down here. Let's see how it works. Getting some oil. Let's turn on some.
you guys, it's working. I mean, it's getting hot. Can't even touch that anymore. But uh, I think the problem is that's just not pushing out enough air. So I think the theory is right here, but I'm getting oil to the other end. So that's and I'm, I've got I only got it on really small. It's just little drips coming off. So I think that I need more air going in there than that thing can produce. That sucks. I thought that would work really well. So I guess I'm going to need more more air to get it moving. So anyway, uh, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm getting heat off of it. The exhaust is coming out, but I'm also making a mess of oil. So it's not, it's not burning it hot enough with the fan. It's not getting enough uh, blow with the fan here. Shut it off and see if it'll. Anyway, guys, this is my first attempt. I was uh, expecting a little bit more, but I think I'm going to have to add a little more air. So, uh, this is part two of my oil burner. If you want to check out the first, first video I made, check out the link below the old stove that I got. I think it's from 1907. 1908. That's the one I'll be using for an oil burner. But um, anyway, for something I threw together in an hour or so, eh, I mean, it, the theory works. I just I think I need more air. Maybe heating up the oil, warm. The oil was sitting outside too, so in a compartment, so that might have not helped. Anyway, guys, like the video, share it, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'll make some improvements and see what I can do. Ciao for now, guys.